But sorry for interrupting that. A South Korean government source tells CNN that North Korea has fired a long-range rocket, something it had been threatening to do for days now. The communist country has described the launch as a way to put a communication satellite into orbit, but the U.S. believes it's actually a cover for a long-range missile test. President Barack Obama had warned North Korea against such a launch, but didn't say what the consequences might be again. A South Korean government source tells CNN that North Korea has fired a long-range rocket. We'll be following this developing story right here on CNN. In the meantime, we want to listen in now to our partners at CNN International, who will pick up the story from here. Part of Japan. At this point, none of this is confirmed. The, the last time that North Korea launched a long range rocket, they also uh, fired mids to short range rockets as well. But at this point, it has not been confirmed to us whether that has happened this time as well. But this is the thing, kind of things that will be confirmed in the hours ahead. Oh, another thing we're waiting to find out is. Uh, immediate reaction from, in particular, the Americans and the Japanese who have mobilized their defense forces or, um, or, 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 or in, in, in anticipation of this event. Tell us about that. Definitely. Um, not just the South Koreans, but the Japanese as well as the U.S. have uh, put their, uh, their, uh, all their military on alert. We, have, we know that there are naval ships in the seas between Japan and South Korea that are monitoring the situation. Uh, they will look at the trajectory of the long-range rocket to figure out just what it is, what it can do, how far it can, and can go, and what it is carrying. So it is expected that in the hours ahead we will also get that information in terms to determine just what the uh, long-range rocket capabilities of North Korea are. All right, Jay, thank you for that and do stick around. We'll uh, be tapping into your resources pretty soon, but first we're just going to give our audience some more information about what has just taken place. Again, we have confirmed through government sources in Japan and South Korea that North Korea has indeed launched a rocket. Now, North Korea has more than 1,000 missiles in its arsenal. We're going to talk about its missile arsenals, even though we have yet to confirm what the payload is. Just this just providing some context for you. Now, these uh, missile arsenals includes 800 ballistic missiles, which can travel longer distances. Some of these missiles are capable of reaching South Korea and Japan, and possibly Australia and uh, or U.S. military bases in Guam. Now, um, North Korea is also reportedly testing a longer-range missile that could reach Alaska. But most analysts say that the accuracy and reliability of these missiles is suspect and that North Korea is some time away from building a nuclear warhead small enough to fit on a missile. Now, before this launch, uh, North Korea said it wanted to put a satellite in orbit. Of course, we still don't know at this moment what has been launched on that rocket. Let's go back to our Sun Jie who joins us now from Seoul. And, and Gia, there's been a lot of speculation um, in advance to this rocket launch, which we knew and we were informed was imminent, about why North Koreans want to do this. And I want to get your thoughts on this. Well, that's the, the three million dollar question. And it's, that's the question that's really difficult to answer. Um, the outside world has to ponder just what is behind North Korea launching of a long range rocket. Um, some of the obvious factors, reasons are that North Korea, uh, to North Korea, missile technology is one of their uh, high foreign currency owners. So the very fact that they have developed this kind of uh, missile technology is something that they could export and market market for the North Korean economy in the short to long term. Um, but there are also many in South Korea saying that there is a more domestic angle to this as well. Uh, North Korea's leader Kim Jong-il has been reported to have failing health. There's been a lot of rumors about the leadership uh, question in North Korea. North Korea is also coming upon a very important political event. April 9th is the first meeting of their Supreme People's Assembly. It is the sort of the rubber stamp National Assembly of North Korea, but it is the political event of the year for North Korea. It is a time when it wants to show the outside world that North Korea is strong, that its leadership is in power. And so what better way to show its own people as well as the outside world that this in fact is the case than to launch um, a long range rocket. Now North Korea has said it is a communication satellite. That's another important thing that it, even South Korea has not been able to launch a communication 
communication satellite. And so the very fact that they can they, they tell their own people that we have de made this type of technology uh, ahead of even South Korea is an important boost for the North Korean leadership. So um, there are a lot of a uh, lot of advantages involved for North Korea if they have a successful long-range rocket launch.